Let's rock it, ladies and men, I'm Long Guitar, and welcome once again to Runner's Impressions, and today we're talking about the Fate series once again. This time we're talking about some new trailers that came out about some new Fate anime series, and um, about Fate Heaven's Feel. Uh, we're gonna start with Fate Apocrypha. Now, Fate Apocrypha is this um, spin-off um, light novel that was written by Nasu, in which the Holy Grail War structure completely changes from a seven our uh, battle royale to a seven on seven team battle, and it uses a lot of servants that have become fan favorites, such as Astolfo, Junivar, and my girl slash boy Mordred. And I'm excited to see it. Um, it's been animated by Studio A1 Pictures, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. Again, I don't want to say that A1 can't do good work because they can. But after, but again, I don't. I'm not sure I trust them too much, considering that they also did the Attorney anime and um, Sword Art Online. So I'm hoping that they do something decent. The trailer, uh, it, it looks like the trailer looks like what you, like what we saw from them when they animated the um, the commercials for Fate Grand Order. So it's decent enough looking. Um, they're using a desaturated color scheme, kind of like in the Grand Order trailers. I kind of wish it would be using the a more lively color scheme, like they used for the uh, for the summer event for Grand Order. But you know, in the end, I'm just gonna see what happens. I've never read Apocrypha, so it's gonna be a completely new story for me, and I'm excited to read it. I'm excited to see it, and and you know, it's it it's Fate Apocrypha, and it has characters that it look really interesting, and. Who knows? Maybe, um, maybe this will uh, bring Apocrypha into the U.S. Uh, and finally get some receipt for either the light novel or the manga version. Who knows? But it's actually really fun to see that other fates are getting uh, some attention as well. Another trailer we saw today was a really short, like 30-second trailer for Fate Extra: Last Encore, which confirms once again we are watching the uh, the story of Nero. But what surprised me was the identity of the protagonist. Many people had assumed because of Fate X Stella and, and the Fate Extra manga pretty much saying that the male Hakuno, male protagonist, was the canon one for the game series, that we were also going to get male Hakuno for the anime series. However, as it shows in the trailer, we are watching this as female Hakuno. We are having female Hakuno as the protagonist for Fate Extra Last Encore. And I'm getting mixed signals from people that I know. Some people are telling me that they're excited because uh, female Hakuno is a fan favorite in the Fate series, in the Fate fandom. But there are also those who legitimately love the male Hakuno. I personally am happy with both. The way I understand it then is that Fate Last Encore is its own timeline, which might be very similar to the extra timeline, but instead of having male Hakuno, it's female Hakuno. Well, the timeline for the games and manga is male Hakuno. Like, we have Fate Extra, Fate Extra, Fate Extra CCC, Fate Extra Manga, and Fate Extra uh, CCC Foxtail Manga having Hakuno as a male protagonist, and we have the last Encore timeline with female Hakuno. So it's gonna be an interesting time. Um, the trailer looks very well animated. It looks very Shaft. I'm gonna say that right now. It looks like Shaft being Shaft. So if you like Shaft, you know what to expect from this. Pretty, pretty animation and bizarre imagery. Even imagery that wasn't in, in within the original Fate Extra. Uh, but I am excited. I, I think that all the Fate projects that are coming out, Last Encore is one of the ones that has me the most excited. Uh, simply because I want to see what Chef can do, because I like Chef more than A1. And, and also it's a story that I know, so I, I'm excited to see how it's adapted. What well, we played at Procrypha, I'm excited about how, about what is going to happen. So my Focus is not so much on what is, on how it's being told, rather what is told. Well, with Fate Extra, I'm interested in how it is told. And now the question becomes uh, for for Extra for Extra Grand Order: Are we following the Rin route or the Rani route? Because the manga with Mil Hakuno follows the the Rin route, and if the anime timeline is gonna follow closely enough so that we can possibly get an Extra CCC anime. And um, a possible Extella anime, which will be a long time later. 
it would have to be the Rin route, but again, we'll find out as the series goes along. And lastly, we saw a trailer for a very short trailer for Fade for Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel. And the only reason why I'm not extremely super hype and screaming into the microphone like I usually do, because this is a very somber trailer. It mostly shows Sakura and Shiro just walking together and Sakura just talking. Um, I wasn't able to get any subtitles for it, so that's a problem for me. But it pretty much just gave us this feeling of somberness. Like, the colors are being shown on the, um, on the, on the streets are very sad colors. It's, like, it's colors that are of Sakura petals and very greenish, very greenish, very greenish, very green. But it feels somewhat colder than UBW colors, which makes sense. It's a more dark story than the one of UBW, and it's also trying to connect more that to let us know and pretty much shove down our throats, yes, this is Sakura's route. And we get this really short clip of Shinji looking legitimately intimidating. Uh, so it's kind of interesting, actually, now that I think about it. I just watched the Grand Order anime, and we have this shot where Shinji is just killed by Medusa. So that's really interesting uh, to have this little contrast here, but yeah, it's just pretty much letting us know Shinji will be uh, a big antagonist here and Sakura is going to be the main focus of the story with Shiro experiencing everything. The animation, the, again, it's beautiful table so I love how it looks. There's this one shot that they have of Sakura walking down the street which is beautifully drawn and beautifully uh, just the light, the lighting in it is... Ugh. My, my artistic dick cannot hold this much beauty. Um, but I'm really excited for it. Um, once again, it's been confirmed. We, it's just saying that it's coming out in 2017, just like the Last Order and Apocrypha anime. However, I feel like Last Encore and Heaven's Steel are, coming, are gonna come out before Fate Apocrypha. Because Fate Apocrypha was announced just to, just today, while Grand Order. Eh, well, um. Well, uh, what's his face? Uh. Well, Heaven's Feel and Last Uncle were announced previously. And also, something I want to mention. I apologize for not bringing up uh, news about the last... Um, about the Grand Order... About the Grand Encore anime. Not the Grand Encore. The Grand Order anime. But the reason why I didn't do it is because I don't really cared for Grand Order until rather recently. Simply because I just didn't care for it. I never read the story. And so when I saw that it was an anime adaptation, I didn't feel hyped. Or I didn't feel... Any, oh, and also I didn't have that much information. I know is that only knew that it was gonna happen, and it happened, and it's currently on Crunchyroll, and it follows the events of the first uh, story event that happened within the game, in which which takes place in 2004 uh, during the Fate Stay Night Holy Grail War. So um, it's a good anime. So just you guys go watch it. I am gonna be uploading a video of me doing a, a commentary over it. So watch that if you want. Uh, but yeah, those are the Fate announcements that came out recently. I'm excited, again, mostly for Heaven's Feel and Last Encore, and I'm really curious about how Apocrypha is going to come out. I am hoping, I'm really hoping that um, A World Pictures gives us something better than what they did with both Sword Art Online and, fin and Ace Attorney. With Ace Attorney, what bugs me most was the animation, with Sword Art Online was their storytelling. Though, to be fair, the storytelling of the author of Sword Art Online isn't all that good either, so it's kind of hard to make something good out of something bad. But I trust that Nasu wrote a good story here, and that it will be put well to the screen, or at least well enough. Again, we'll see how it goes along. Uh, tell me in the comments below what are you most excited for, and did you see the Grand Order anime and what did you think? Are you most excited for for what they are going to be the next uh, Grand Order OVAs? Are you excited for Fate Apocrypha, Lance Encore, uh, or Heaven's Seal? And you, with Grand and with Last Encore specifically. Are you mad that they're going with the female Hakuno instead of the male Hakuno? Let me know in the comments below. So as you men, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rogitar, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep on rocking!